Welcome to another six minute recap video. I uh, know it's a very late one, uh, but yeah, the morning got a bit hectic, it, it got a bit busy, and yeah, it was an emergency essentially. So, I'm only getting time to actually sit down now and actually look at the charts. Uh, I, can, I, I had even accepted that if I do miss any opportunities today, then I would have missed them, you know, because like I said, it was an emergency. But uh, enough of that. Uh, yesterday on May 23rd, we closed at 28.48 on the VIX. Uh, so we're still above 25.1, which is our current average annual. And which means that we are still in a risk of environment, right? So we need to act accordingly. And with that being said, we are currently on trading day 98. And because we are above our current average annual, uh, we have a green light from the VIX to look for positions on currencies as well as indices, right? So that is what we have from the volatility index, right? So if you quickly go into some articles right here, um, I'm a bit exhausted, so I won't really be reading most of the articles. Uh, I'll just share some of the links and I'll just show you guys, then you can just access the websites to get the links. So we have here, this one, this was, this one was from yesterday. Uh, because today it was mostly uh, the Fed uh, central bank speakers as well as uh, the ECP central bank speakers. And they, they both, we both know their story, right? The ECP, they're talking up the euro that they're looking to hike in July. Uh, some are saying that they should hike by 50 basis point or 0.5%. But Christine Lagarde is dismissing that, right? So we understand the current story or situation with the euro or ECP. We understand the current story and situation with the Fed that they're looking to continue hiking interest rates 50 basis points or 0.5% in the, in the next two or three meetings, right? I think that's June and July. I'm not sure that when is the actual third meeting, right? So we understand that story, but something from the Bank of England yesterday was uh, from Bailey, who's the governor. Bank of England pay to increase rates again if needed. Uh, then uh, Bank of England's Bailey says ready for more rate hikes if needed, right? So the pound or the Bank of England, they're still looking to hike interest rates, right? Even though they raised concern about economic growth or GDP uh, or a potential recession or stagflation, uh, but they're still looking to rate to hike interest rates if needed, right? Uh, and then just this one here as well, S&P's um, uh, accounts pronounce this. Uh, will not hesitate uh, to raise rates if inflation remains outside the target, right? So some hawkish comments from S&P's uh, or something, right? Uh, so as well, Swiss National Bank, someone, another, another, another uh, central bank to be focusing on, because uh, they they starting to sound more hawkish, right? They starting to sound more hawkish, and the more they are talking about raising interest rates, right? Uh, so it's 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 one of the central banks to also pay attention to, right? But we'll, I'll still look to short the Swiss against, for example, the dollar or the New Zealand, right? Because yes, they're still talking about hiking interest rates, but they're not hiking interest rates the same as uh, the same as the Fed or the the New Zealand, right? Uh, so that is what we have there. And then this article from uh, Think ING: Market pricing of the Fed tightening cycle has settled down and yields at the short end of the U.S. yield curve are now quite steady. The benign case for a global asset market uh, is that the Fed pauses, high, pauses after hiking the Fed funds rates to 2% in July. That could lead to further stability in the dollar and gains in high yield FX, but there are still many risks, right? So we're still favoring a dollar long, but for in the, in the short term, a correction is 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 ex, is expected and is due, right? So that is essentially what they're saying. Uh, and then you can just read through the other the other headlines, right, for the different currencies, right? And then when it comes to technicals, um, I currently have uh, CAD CHF, so I added uh, I added CAD CHF as well as AUD CHF to my uh, from the filter list to the watch list. Uh, CAT CHF has actually triggered, oh yeah, we are on CAT CHF, so it has actually triggered my level, uh, of which the level was actually here, I think around here, but then because if I quickly drop to the four hour, this is the current four hour candle, yeah, my level was around here, I think, yeah. Uh, so because this four hour candle has not closed and it has violated the slow, right, the slow right here. That is why I then ref refined my level and then I found this one right here, right? So if it also pushes below this and closes below, 
on 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 the four hour then of course i will then look to um then i'll look because there's a further demand zone here if we go into the daily the two day time frame as well we'll be able to see it right so but for now this is where I'm, I'm, I'm looking at uh, at uh, CAT CHF. So I'll be looking to execute long positions, right? But I'll wait for the four hour candle to close at at seven, right? Because yeah, it will close at seven. So that is when I'll be checking the mark, checking on the markets again to see if whether do do I do I have a potential entry, right? And then uh, we also have uh, AUD CHF. Uh, it's still quite some distance away uh, from from the actual. Uh, level so this is the level right here let me just move this up this is my level right here for AUD CHF so I'm also keeping an eye on that and as you can see most of the CHF pairs are quite are selling off heavily uh, and as well as you saw that 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 hawkish comment uh, from the from one of the CHF of the Swiss National Bank uh, members right uh, so that is what we have right and then we still, I'm still looking to to short, of course, the indices, uh, but they 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 did not push higher to my level. I think because we have a gap here, we'll probably push higher at some point this week. Uh, and then we also have US 30 as well as German 40. Uh, and then we have okay USD JPY and USD CHF. There are no setups there, but you can clearly see that a correction is is underway when it comes to the dollar, right? As you can see how. It's not really selling off from this big move, but then a correction as well as USD CHF. We can see that we clearly have a correction at the moment, right? But I just wanted to show you guys that for now I have CAT CHF, uh, which could potentially give an opportunity to execute uh, today, right? But I'll check on them. I'll check on that at seven when this four-hour candle closes.